Hello everyone. So today what we are actually going to learn is that to trigger more than one animation in Unity 3D. So to trigger this animation in Unity 3D through the real time, as you can see that I set two times 230, 10, 230, 20. One animation will occur in the 230th time span and the other one should uh, trigger on 23020 so here you can see these two animations just working very fine properly so without any further delay let's start this thing to achieve such a thing you have to create a new scene right here by clicking uh, right and go to this create option and click this scene I have this right here just a quick test you have to create a new uh, this uh, little flow right here by going by right clicking to this panel and going to 3d object and then queue this thing you have to do this two times to make one floor and one object to put some animations on it. So call it other thing like uh, one. So I have this uh, test animation uh, right here. So it just cannot have, have some problem in it. So just really real fast. Go to this window panel and go to this animations window and pan it right here. Create, click to this uh, little create button and name it one new. I click save and real fast. Just go to this property and go to transform and go to this position little plus sign and just hold this uh, uh, arrow and move it a bit right that. so we have to create one more animation clip so this would be one new two and this animation uh, will have some kind of positioning in it and some kind of scaling in it like that so we have to position it like this and scale it like that and this thing too so just give it a bit uh, flavor check that okay so you have to create a new C sharp script by going to this create panel and going and clicking this C sharp. You have to start this script by double clicking it so it will open in the mono develop. I have it right here, locked on. So you have to create some string variable, string time uh, one and you see you have to call it public so we can set it set its value through the inspector and public string uh, time two maybe and you have to create a new method call it and make sure that the method starts with capital S not with small s because small s is for uh, type casting of string variables so call it time calling anything that you want I just like to maintain it very cleanly you have to create new variable and call it new time now time and you also have to include this library if you want to by going right above everything else 
and type this thing that using system going back here and type system dot time date time dot now dot short this thing to short time string and return now time so what see so we just set it right here make it a fixed update so it can uh, iterate about point or two seconds per frame uh, to check it real quick that our method is working or not we have to debug information from it this method right here so now we are going to check that our method is working or not you have to uh, press control p shortcut for play so here you can see that our animation is working very fine so after uh, having make sure that your method is working fine you have to just set these two time accordingly in the fixed update that if if uh, time calling sorry time calling dot contains time one then just You have to set one more thing just to make sure everything is working properly fine. Animator anim you have to assign it on the in the start method anim is equal to mm, get component. animator in the start method and going to go back to unity click this animator to in which a new window will occur you have to assign a new state in it an empty state and make it a default clear we transition to here and one to here and these two animation must not be looped again and again and again so we have to make some conditions right here that one make it one and another one trigger so make it two so make it very simple so you can understand it properly so another thing second condition must be two. okay we are real good with the with our animators parameters so go into this condition and set anim dot set trigger one and if for second animation you have to write this thing this code right here that I just are coding right now anim dot set trigger So just real uh, quick, let's just inspect our code.
coding right here we have two strings time one and time two we will assign it on our animator on our sorry inspector uh, and here we have our uh, let's say our animator component we get our animator component uh, through this start method in the fix method we just check that our uh, current time is matching our uh, given time through which we just pass through this uh, two uh, variables time one and time two and when our time one uh, is uh, contained in this uh, current time then first animation will trigger and accordingly the second animation will trigger after some time so just like that click on this variable sorry this uh, game object right here and scroll it and set it like this 2:41 pm and 2:41 pm so 2:41 is also upon us so i guess we have to make sure that this animation to occur Check it. So it just waits until the real time system time trigger to two forty two. So after that, it will just trigger these two animations to the animator. So we are just about to see that our script is working fine. So you probably need to add an animator. Sorry, we just have mm -hmm. to make sure that this animator is not. not a part of this game object it is a part of this game object right here so we have to do what we have to do is to delete this thing this animator and trigger it one more time to 243 Go right here and make it also 243. So we have to wait one more minute, dude. So let's just wait, it will work much fun this time, I guess. So we have to just wait about 30 seconds to see that our animator work or not just like that So here you can see guys our both animations just work on the given system time that we just passed through this method. I will upload this uh, code on my website so you can easily access it. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more interesting and cool videos. Uh, comment anything you just didn't get from my uh, tutorial thanks for watching guys bye bye